telling you, listen to me. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. My first house cost $14,700. I'm giving you a chance to write the check. $14,700. My second house cost $51,900. This watch costs more than that. Look, so Jesse, I used to look up to you. See, when I was heavily part of the evangelical movement, you were one of the first mega preachers that my husband and I started listening to. And you were the preacher that convinced us to put money in the offering plate, even when we could barely afford to put groceries on the table. And we did it, because we listened to you and we believed that if we honored God with our finances, we, one day, could become just as wealthy as you. But now I sit back and see how absolutely ridiculous that is. You tell people that the reason Jesus isn't coming back is because they haven't given enough of their hard-earned money in a time when people are struggling to survive. You have an $80,000 watch on your wrist and gold on the bottom of your shoes, while people that are surrounding the churches that you preach at are starving to death. And some people don't even have a bed to sleep in at night. Jesse, you are not a hero. In fact, you're an anti-hero. Because when I look at you and your abundant wealth, I see somebody who is not working for the greater good. I see somebody who's working for the God of mammon. And it shows. Mm. Told you. <laughs> Religion versus relationship with God. Tell you. Open your eyes. If they talk about money so much and God's not coming because you're not giving, false prophet. Yeah, there's true prophets and there's false prophets. Learn which one is which. Just saying.